there are three main kinds of faults. And you're going to model these kinds of faults with some simple materials like styrofoam, some markers, and you're going to move these pieces of styrofoam across and against each other to demonstrate the kinds of forces involved in the motion of plate boundaries. So, let's check it out. First is a reverse fault, where rocks are pushed together one over the other. A normal fault is where rocks spread out, one pulling away from the other. And third is the strike slip, where rocks bend or break sideways, each sliding past each other. You're going to start out by making a model of a reverse fault. You're going to take some styrofoam and use colored pencils or markers to create at least three horizontal layers on the sides of your blocks. Have an adult help you cut the block into two pieces at an angle. Next, place the two cut blocks together face to face. The left block is block B, the right block is block A. The side where the two cut surfaces touch is the fault line. Slowly push the two pieces together so that block A slides upward. You've just modeled a reverse fault. Reverse faults are formed from pushing forces, also called compression forces. Study this picture of a reverse fault. It shows how your fault moved looking from the side. Look closely at the direction of the forces and the direction in which the blocks moved. Now answer the questions on your student guide. Now you're going to make a model of a normal fault. Return the styrofoam pieces to their original positions. Slowly pull block B upward while keeping the joined faces in contact. This is a normal fault. Normal faults are formed from pulling forces, also called tension forces. Study this picture. Look closely at the directions of the forces and the direction in which the plates moved. Again, go to your student guide and answer the questions. Finally, you'll make a model of a strike-slip fault. And now move both blocks so they slide sideways past each other. This is a strike-slip fault. Strike-slip faults are formed from sideways forces or shear forces. The blocks respond differently when they're pushed past each other from the side. Look at this illustration. Compare it with the illustrations from your first two trials. Look closely at the direction of the force and the direction in which the plates moved. Now answer the questions in the student guide. All right, you're all done. Now do the adult graded questions in the lesson in the OLS.